Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's question paper is the self-assessment. Submit your assessment one model paper of ninth class mathematics English version. You can just look at the question paper and if needed you can take the screenshot of it because the at the end of this question paper answers are also given with clear explanation so if I go on explaining the questions it takes time much time and the video becomes a lengthy one in order to cut it down the videos length I am not explaining the problems here just you can have a glance on this question paper if needed you can take a screenshot of this so this question paper is prepared as per the model paper for SA1 for the state of Telangana section 3 it consists of four marks questions I'm sorry six marks questions and part B 30 minutes 20 questions are given all these 20 questions are multiple choice questions so do not skip any part of this video at the end of this question paper the answers start so this is the end of the question paper now continue looking at the answers so these are the answers given here for the first question you have to identify or you have to locate 3 by 7 and minus 3 by 7 on the number line clearly here it is done x plus 1 is a factor of p of x if p of minus 1 is 0 for this we verify it so p of minus 1 is clearly 0 so yes x plus 1 is a factor of p of x the product of 3 root 2 minus root 7 3 root 2 plus root 7 gives 11 which is a rational number but not irrational below 10 even numbers are 2 4 6 8 so median is the middle two terms are 4 and 6 their average is 5 supplementary angle of 25 is 180 minus 25 that is 155 complementary angle of 25 is 90 minus 25 that is 65 let radius r be 14 centimeters surface area 4 pi r square is 2464 square centimeter for this sphere section 2 the formula to find mean using assumed mean for an ungrouped data is clearly given here each and every term is also explained let r be the radius of the base of the cylinder then area of its base is pi r square then pi r square is 154 r is 7 given that height of the cylinder is 10 centimeters so the total surface area is calculated using the formula 2 pi r into r plus h so it comes out to be 748 volume of the cylinder v is pi r square h and substituting r and h in this we get 1540 cubic centimeters the marks of 25 students are given here so now we have to take the class interval as 0 to 10 10 10 differences we have to take so 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 so if this exam was conducted for 50 marks and by taking tally marks the frequency distribution table is prepared so this is the frequency distribution table 0 to 10 frequency is 5 10 to 20 frequency is 4 10 to 37 30 to 40 it is 6 40 to 50 the frequency is 3 and the sum of all the frequencies f phi's is 25 so in the diagram if you see it given that x y is a line so on the line the sum of all the angles made is 180 degrees so here actually it is the sum of three angles which is equal to x o y in which x y o p is 90 degrees it is given 
then b plus a is again 90 that is a plus b the ratio of a is to b is given it is 2 is to 7 then 90 degrees to be divided in the ratio 2 is to 7 then a gets 2 parts and b gets 7 parts so 20 and 70 Again, A and C are equal because these two are vertically opposite angles. So, C is one, C is 20 degrees, which is equal to A. Next one, 5x plus 3y is equal to 15. Write any four solutions for this uh, equation that is given, that is required. So, x is equal to 0. If we substitute, we get y is equal to 5. So, 0 comma 5 is a solution or x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. When y is equal to 0, we take x is equal to 3, it is again a solution. This can be written as an ordered pair 3 comma 0. If we take x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 10 by 3. So 1 comma 10 by 3 is also a solution. So putting y is equal to 1, the value of x that we obtained is 12 by 5. So 12 by 5 comma 1 is also a solution. So in this way, four solutions are calculated. Area is given as a quadratic polynomial. This quadratic polynomial is factorized into two linear factors x minus 8 into x minus 2. So if x is positive, length is x minus 2 and breadth is x minus 8. If x is negative, then the larger one we have to take it as length and the smaller one as breadth. So then x minus 8 becomes length and x minus 2 becomes breadth in this way. So section 3. Successive magnification to be done here. So the required value lies between 3.5 and 3.6. So 3.5 to 3.6 is magnified in this way. And further the required value lies between 3.57 and 3.58. So that's why 3.57 to 3.58. Once again it is taken on the number line. And finally here we obtained the value 3.578. A fourth degree polynomial is given. And the question is, we have to divide that fourth degree polynomial by this second degree polynomial. Here the division is done. And next it is verified that divisor into quotient plus remainder gives the dividend. Here it comes out to be the dividend. Fifteenth one, from the figure AB is parallel to EF and BD is a transversal. So vertically opposite angles are equal. So AC is 75. When AC is 75, here we can substitute 75 thereby we get y is equal to 60. Since AB and EF are parallel, so angle X is equal to angle Y. So X is 60 degrees and Y is also given to be 60 degrees. So now we have to find the median for this one. So the median is calculated in this way. The answer is 3. Let R be the radius of its base and H be the height of the cylinder. Then curved surface area of the cylinder is given. It is 2 pi R H, so which is equal to 880 and volume is also given pi r square h which is 616 dividing volume by area we get r by 2 r by 2 is 7 by 10 then r is 7 by 5 centimeters when r is 7 by 5 substituting the value of r in curved surface area which is 8080 we get h is equal to 100 centimeters 18th question is not so clear 40 percent of the students are boys Next six remaining means 60% are girls. In part B, 1B answer, 2A, 3C, 4A, 5C, 6C, 7C, 8D, 9A, 10D, 11A, 12A, 13B, 14C, 15C, 16th it comes out to be not so clear. So 17C, 18C, 19D, 20A. So in this way, this question paper with answers is brought before you. It is not so easy to prepare complete question paper and again preparing the answers becomes a laborious work. So it is brought only for your preparation purpose. So please subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe in more in number, then it gives strength for me to prepare this type of videos. So in the future also I am going to prepare this type of challenging videos. So please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it and write a comment. Thank you for watching.